G'day, mate, and welcome back to Capturing History with me, Jetty. In our last episode, we got a whole bunch of automation done. We're now automated, well, properly automated with belts. Uh, our iron smelting, our copper smelting, our electronics, our mechanical parts. Also, can't forget uh, construction parts one, construction parts two, and technically not on belts, but at least automated vehicle parts number one. On top of that, we had an extra farm. We got some more people. We, we, we did a number of things. Oh, we even gave people nice fresh water so they could wash their hands after using the toilet because I have no idea what they've been doing for the last couple of years, but it's fine. They now have fresh water. Everything is great. Today's episode, today's episode, we have a lot to do as always. But before we get into any of that, of course, I need to ask you guys, can I borrow a like? I just want to borrow a like, just like borrowing a like early in the video, just in case, you know, you forget to click like later on in the video, you've already clicked like nice and early. If you're not happy with the video, by all means, you can have your like back. But with that out of the way, let's see what today's episode's got in store. And of course, before we talk about today's plans, as always, I need to thank a wonderful YouTube member. Wonderful YouTube member who's choosing to support the channel, who not only clicked the subscribe button, but also right beside it, click the little join button. Very, very important button. It means that I can afford to keep doing this every single day. Because we all like Captain Industry, but unfortunately, well, being a content creator is a hard job with um, not a lot of uh, opportunities for making income. So again, I need to thank the wonderful YouTube members and the wonderful Patreon members that are keeping the dream alive. Today, we're going to be thinking uh, Tokumiko. Tokumiko, yes, for becoming a wonderful YouTube member. Thank you for supporting the channel. It's very, very much appreciated. You have the honest job of hauling around dirt for the rest of your life. It's not a dirty job. It's a very important job because it leads to bricks. In fact, um, we're gonna make your life a little bit easier as our very first option, uh, our very first mission, and we're gonna be cutting off all of that. What I wanna do is I wanna have these hard red lines. These hard red lines means Mr. Diggy Boy can't keep digging from the top of the hill down, he has to dig from the bottom of the hill up, which means rather than trucks driving all the way around, well, they're gonna come down here and they're gonna just drive straight across. It's gonna shorten their routes by an awful lot, which is gonna be very important, unless you decide you're gonna go dig off this hill. Yep. You turn time. Thank you very much. Okay, we're gonna head you down the hill. All right, we've just finished our last research being uh, research lab level two, which means I can't do any more research without having lab equipment two. Uh, when we get lab equipment two, we wanna get into power generation. Also, I want mechanical power storage. And I also want gas combustion. Gas combustion requires that I have advanced diesel. Advanced diesel is hidden behind ocean drilling technology. So I need to get the ship out and about and doing things. So that's gonna be our plan. Problem is um, my labs are useless. So we're gonna delete the labs, which frees up a couple of workers, which is good because I'm gonna put those workers to good use, make another excavator, another couple of truckies. Also gonna unpause our beacon because we need more people and put in another row of houses. Uh, we need to house those people, so we need to put one of those in. The other thing I wanna do is I wanna empty this, so we're gonna make sure the export priority on this is nice and high, because we repaired the shipyard last episode, which means I can now drag that up to full, which means, well, we're gonna have some diesel in the ship eventually. Also need to click repair, which means you need a, uh, well, an extra 90 odd bits of iron. And now I've cranked up the export priority on this. Hopefully it leaves here and goes there and I can finally have this building removed. I sort of want the space. All right, that's our first objective. Uh, second objective is I am gonna need more farming. So I want to put in a, another rainwater catcher here, along with two more here. We're obviously gonna need some pipes to plug the whole lot together. Uh, one and two uh, and three, no, try again, three. Okay, on top of that, I need a farm. Uh, we're gonna put a farm here, roughly, uh, which means I need to roughly put the other one over here and hope that that's the right tile. I honestly don't know. Uh, so we're gonna build that farm. I'm gonna leave, actually, no, I'm gonna take them off manure, because uh, I stopped and I watched, and, oh, manure, waiting for rain, perfect example. Now, whilst you're waiting for rain, the fertility does go up, which is important, because the higher the fertility of the soil is, uh, the more potatoes we get per harvest. Yes, the catch is it's gonna sit here for potentially a couple of months whilst it waits for rain, uh, or we could just start planting potatoes straight away. We do get an extra penalty because of the lack of rain and the lack of this and the lack of this and the lack of that, but you know, it is what it is. Um, mainly because you know, no crop rotation, the fertility goes through the ground. But on the flip side, uh, can I go next? 
uh, it does naturally replenish whilst we wait for wait for rain. Uh, we're going to cancel that one as well and accept that, well, mm, we're going to have those penalties for the moment. I think overall we'll get more potatoes out, but honestly, the only way to know is to test. All right, uh, the ship is now repaired. I'd love to send it out, but I need crew for that as we're at minus seven workers. I can't see that happening. Uh, we are going to grab this tower and assign our extra diggy boy with an extra truck and have them come down here and help with our dirt collection. I need more. Oh, wow. Uh, priority five. You're important. Okay. Uh, I need more dirt. I need more dirt to make more. Uh, yeah, I can live without you. You can be probably like 12. Uh, I need more dirt. I have no else. What? That's fine. We had refugees show up. All right. Uh, I need more dirt to make more bricks to make more construction parts because there's more things I need to do. All right. First thing I need to do is our copper production does not have coal being delivered via belts. So we're going to fix that. We're going to fix that by copying our iron one and pasting it right over the top because at least have the belts on the back uh, plugged in semi-correctly. I won't say entirely correctly, but semi-correctly. I'm going to bring my slag out of here at height number one. And then somebody, not going to mention any names, built a belt over the top. So you're going to have to plug over here instead, uh, which means I'm going to remove that. Uh, I'm going to need to get coal in which I'm thinking right there seems like the easiest option. Uh, we're gonna set you for coal and at least drag you up one tile and uh, unpause that, unpause that and unpause that. I don't need a second copper smelter yet. So I'm not gonna build a second copper smelter yet. But one thing I am gonna do is flip uh, with the shift F this time to flip it in the other flippy floppy direction. Yep. You hold shift and press F, it flips. If I press F, it flips that way. And if I press, just flip it back. And if I press shift F, it flips that way. It's a flip on a flip on a flip. Uh, doesn't matter which one it is. I'll always end up getting around the wrong way. Uh, okay, we're going to plug that in there. That is everything. Nope, uh, water. Water would go from there to there. This is less than ideal, but it's going to work. And I'm just going to accept it for now. Uh, this is everything I need to get, well, a second copper smelting up and running. I don't need a second copper smelter yet. I do need you to go in the correct direction, but and in the future, we'll turn on a second copper smelter. Not right now, but. All right, uh, with that out of the way, next thing I need to do is, uh, good question, Jetty. What do I need to do next? Uh, we've done the rain catches. We've done the farm, which should be up and running without crop rotation. Thank you. Actually, we have spare people. Okay. Somebody built a pipe in the way. Uh, here. I could give them veggies. No, I'm not going to give them veggies. They don't deserve veggies. We're just going to have potatoes. Just going to have potatoes on potatoes on potatoes. All right. Uh, once this is cleared, I should be able to get my second farm in. Yes. So I just need to make sure that every tree between there and there is shorn. All right. Uh, we need to get science up and running. Let's do science. Okay. Uh, no, I need to grab an assembler. Uh, an assembler, an assembler, an assembler. It's going to be an electric assembler, isn't it? Uh, science. Cool. I need a whole lot of mechanical parts and a whole lot of electronics to make a lab equipment. Now, lab equipment is under which one? Buildings. A research lab, too. Research labs are tiny, very, very tiny. And even though I tried to plan for space, I definitely can say I don't have any free space. Uh, now, if I make 24 lab equipment, uh, one, you need four. I'm only gonna build two labs for now. I'd probably like to have three, maybe even four, but I just don't have the space for now. So we're just gonna get one of you. Uh, I'm gonna plan out maintenance depot, maintenance depot, maintenance depot. Sure. We'll put you here for now. All right, we're going to run first belt along to here and into there. We're going to run the second belt uh, here and into there. And then out of there, I can take my lab equipment and we might as well move you over the left and move you over the left. And nope, you can you go right one? Cool. And we're going to run into lab number one and into lab number two. All right, uh, can we unpause all of that and all of that and that and all of that? Now, these require me to have lab equipment to build the lab. 
which means in theory you should put lab equipment into storage. I don't want to put lab equipment into storage. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to pause this belt. We're going to build the belt, but I'm going to pause it because as long as the lab equipment is in this building, I can then use Unity with the power of belief and teleport the lab equipment from, well, the assembly into the research lab. That is if a truck doesn't come over and pick up the lab equipment from the building and put it into the research lab itself to finish the construction. But that should get our research up and running. Now, of course, the other thing I should probably look at is, okay, ship dock repair. Uh, we now have enough people I can load up the crew, great. Uh, you have diesel, so now we can send you off to the world map. What are you carrying? Electronics, well, put it in the shipyard. All right, <clears throat> off to the world map. The world map is um, interesting. Let's go with interesting. There are many, many things on the, la on the world map that we need to go grab. And um, the only way we're gonna find out what's there is by exploring. Now, that means I need to send Mr. Shippy out. So we're gonna send our ship to the very first location. And of course, I'm gonna click on all the wrong things. Stop it. We're gonna watch Mr. Shippy leave. So, uh, Mr. Shippy takes off to sea. Uh, yep, those waves not too big, it's fine. He'll mostly above the surface and he disappears, cool. With Mr. Shippy gone, he is going to head out to the, oh, Nope, nope, out of picture mode, into here. He's going to head 195 kilometers out to sea and he's gonna go explore this node. Now, what is there? We don't know until he finishes exploring. The only node we currently know about is the little village over here that we've traded with just the once to send them some wood for some bricks. Now, I could do more trading for woods for bricks for, for more construction parts. Not a bad idea. Uh, by the same token, I can also adopt people for two and a half UD. Don't question why we're spending belief for having people magically show up. It's a thing. We don't question how ma people magically get here. We don't exp We don't question why it costs us anything, but it just happens. But the good news is we discovered an oil rig. So with the oil rig discovered, uh, we're gonna go move on to the next destination, which is another 350, well, it's 350 kilometers from our island. It's whatever distance from there. We do have a certain amount of food with a certain amount of resources on the ship. But luckily, since the previous release, the early access release, now the shippy doesn't find any people. Because what would happen is your housing would fill up, you'd have no room for spare people, and then Mr. Shippy would go out and explore and find refugees and bring them home. And they'd be like, eh, we want somewhere to live. And I'd be like, yeah, that's nice. The housing is full. You shouldn't have been on the ship. We should have thrown you overboard along the way. Well, not a problem anymore. We just don't find refugees. Don't question whether people show up front via the beacon. They just show up. Okay. Uh, we also found some more rubber, some copper parts, uh, some copper, some vehicle parts, and wheat seeds, which is good because wheat seeds is a future technology. Yeah. Uh, we need to find the wheat seeds so we can unlock this technology branch to come down here and do this. All right. With that out of the way uh, and my lab's built, I want to unpause this belt. That way we can automatically get the research into lab number one and lab number two. We're working on power generation. Also, because I've jumped ahead, um, well, we got 60 bricks, we got 40 bricks, we got 40 bricks, we got some concrete, we got some construction parts, we got some construction parts. I've done a few things out of order, okay? It's fine, it's fine. All right, next thing we need to do is not talk about the research lab, because we've done that. We don't need to talk about refugees, because we've done that. We don't need to talk about those refugees, because we've done that. Or those refugees, because we've done that. I need the beacon to go off once more. And then we're going to be maxed out on people. Oh, 18 refugees. I can't fit 18 refugees. Pause. Okay. Uh, we do have the option of housing number two. Now, housing number two, I'm probably going to have to jump into earlier than I'd like. Because I can't really fit more housing. I can fit a few here. But as soon as I build, well, I can build this one. But these two, if I build these, it'll block us getting to this farm. Which is sort of important to get the potatoes out. So, um, yeah, uh, also I need to tell Mr. Tree Halves to keep chopping trees. Uh, can I put a farm here yet? I can. Uh, can I line you up with that? Okay, we're going to build another farm. We'll unpause you. That should take care of all our food problems for right now. Uh, tree planting, we're not going to worry about. Kong up, ship dock repair is done uh, as the ship is out and about and back already. Now, I can keep to cho choose to keep shooting here, sending him out. He can go explore all sorts of things, which would be possibly helpful. Uh, but for right now, I don't need him doing things. So we're going to take the crew off the ship and we're going to leave the ship, the ship, uh, right here. Yeah. Uh, on top of that, 
I don't need the vehicle depot running either. So that's going to free up a couple of workers, which is good because I'm about to find them more things to do. Uh, double check this really quickly because you've dug most of the way through. We're going to hook that back up so you can dig your way back up the hill. I need you digging to the left, but I don't want you digging to the right. Oop. Cancel that one and leave that there. I'm going to actually want you to... I want you to finish this first, and then once this ramp's done, I can then cut to the left and to the right. So we're going to have to move that pipe eventually, but that'll be a later problem. All right. Next thing I need to work on is, whilst I wait for power generation is going to be concrete production. Now, we're going to build concrete production. I don't know where it's going to go, but we're going to build concrete. Now, concrete production. I'm going to need oh, two of these. Uh, these use one and a half cement, plus some sand, plus some slag crushed, plus some water to make concrete slabs. Now, there's a number of alternative recipes. So we can use either slag crushed or we can use gravel. And rather than sand, we can use manufactured sand. And honestly, I want to turn on all the recipes. Yeah, yeah, we're gonna run all the recipes. Now, these are gonna require 100 kilowatts worth of power. And if I have two of them, that's 200 kilowatts worth of power as long as we're making, as long as they're on and making concrete slabs. Now, for that, I need to make a cement. So for cement, uh, we're going to need a rotary kiln. Rotary kiln, uh, let's put you the, nope, that direction. Uh, rotary kiln is going to give me three cement uh, for some limestone, some coal, and a touch of exhaust, and that'll run two of these guys. But not too much further down the tech tree, right here, is the concrete mixer number two, which is going to use three cement each concrete mixer. It basically is twice as fast. It uses resources twice as fast. Which means rather than it being uh, two of these to, well, four of these, no, two of these, hang on. You do three, you do one and a half. So rather than be one to two or two to four, it ends up being four to four eventually. So I want to sort of plan around building four for four. Um, I don't have the people, I don't have the power. Uh, but we can start planning ahead whilst research ticks along. Speaking of research, I now have the, I've gone and ticked off my ocean drilling technology, which means I want to research gas combustion. That's going to be important to get advanced diesel up and running, at least for the first time. And that's what I want for right now. I think, I think um, we need to finish off this research before I even worry about building power for the first time. All right. So this should be fairly easy, should be. Uh, we're gonna get a U-shaped belt. We're gonna bring in two belts, uh, one on this level, one on this level, and whoop, stay, stay, cool. Uh, I need to bring in limestone. Uh, well, actually, I actually need to bring in coal. So let's bring in coal. I need to get you down to the ground level. And then I'm going to select these guys and move them one tile away. Reason they're one tile away is I wanna plug into there and I can't. You're not gonna let me, are you? Okay, let's try again without having a one tile segment belt. I wanna plug into there and then jump into there. I wanna plug into there and jump into there. I wanna do the same for the limestone. We wanna plug in there and jump in there. I want the limestone to come in here and I want the limestone to come in here. Cool. Uh, we now know everything to the left is useless because we're gonna assume we're gonna bring in all the resources from the right. We're probably gonna bring in the resources from the right, but that is, well, the front half done. The rear half is going to be, well, the, the rear half's done, the front half's going to be a bigger nightmare. So I need to bring in uh, three different resources plus water. So this is uh, not a nice little build. Uh, we're going to bring in a flat belt first. So as we can see, the concrete or the cement, uh, the cement is on a flat belt, whereas the other ones are on a U-shaped belt. So I'm going to put in the flat belt first. Then I need a U-shaped belt over the top. And then another U-shaped belt over the top. See, could not store all potatoes over half. It's perfect. That means we have too much food. All right. Uh, all right. I need to plug these in. So we're going to be plugging these in, uh, pretending that we're plugging into the actual machine. So we're going to bring top belt uh, down to ground level. And then this belt down to ground level. And then our flat belt uh, is already at ground level. And that becomes our little belt. All right. So with that out of the way, we're going to copy or cut those, reattach them there, and then I'm just going to copy this and paste it here and here and here. Oh, 
That is remove, remove, and remove. That is, well, our concrete slab uh, at least partially built. I'm gonna have a two tile gap between this and this because my flat belt, I'm actually gonna remove. I'm gonna run my flat belt uh, from this guy directly into this guy. You produce uh, three, don't forget, and you need one and a half. So I'm actually gonna run my flat belt uh, from there into there. And then uh, this one, we're gonna rotate direction, yeah. And you are also gonna rotate direction. Obviously you're not gonna stick out the end. And then eventually, when I build the whole build, not gonna be right now, I'm gonna plug you into you, you into you, and you actually into you. I can do that. Yeah, I can actually just run you straight. Cool. Uh, we're gonna need some smokestacks, which is gonna be uh, here and here. And then I can run a pipe, which will be there. And, oh, you're not gonna let me, really? Oh, surely. Surely. Cut. Put you there for just a second. Remove you. Cut. Put you there. Put a pipe there. Cool. Tell me I can't do something. Pshh. Look, I did it. Works fine. Don't question it. All right. Uh, so that's that done. All right. Uh, then I need to get in my other materials. Okay. So I need either sand or manufactured sand. Now, uh, the best thing about Captain Ministry, at least in my opinion, is the recipe book. The recipe book is amazing. And the fact that you can look at any recipe just makes my life so much easier. Uh, but first I need to work out who is this? Okay, you have a problem that you can't find anything to dig. Good news, we're gonna have you start clearing out uh, like so. Just all of that. Yep. Yep, yep. That should keep you busy for like five minutes. Okay, we're also gonna turn off dumping of dirt. Because you guys, your only job is to get dirt to make bricks. And currently, if you've got too much dirt and you're dumping it in the sea, then I'm doing something wrong. All right, uh, recipe book, recipe book. So if I want to know how to make manufactured sand, which is the new item, it's one of the new items in the game, I all I have to do is right click on it. And if I right click it, it brings up the recipe book and it tells me everything that uses manufactured sand in the game, even if I haven't had it unlocked. So this is how I make it with a crusher. I put in some gravel, I get manufactured sand, one to one ratio. And these are all the different things that can use it. So a mixer level two with gravel and manufactured sand and coal will make filters. I don't know what I use filters for. You know what? If we right click on that again, it can say, this is how we make filters, bop, 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 bop. And this is what uses filters. This is what makes Captain Industry, in my opinion, such a great game. I love this fact. Just, just, it's just awesome in my books. Anyway, uh, so I need to make, I need to make, uh, well, gravel. I need to gra make gravel uh, and uh, I need to make manufactured sand and I need to make gravel and I need to make slag crushed. Now, slag crushed, that's easy. That slag in gives me slag crushed. 24 in, 24 out. Uh, as for my manufactured sand, that is gravel in, gives me manufactured sand. How do I make gravel? Right click on it, rock to gravel. Okay, so these guys are gonna need, uh, using let's turn you off and you off so we're just going to work on one recipe because i'm not worried about sand right now we're going to be using uh manufactured sand three plus three plus three plus three so that's three that's six that's 12 total now not too far in the distant future we have like i said uh the concrete mixer two which is going to use twice as much so uh it's going to be three six twelve total manufactured sand but i want to aim for 24. the good news is we bring back up that manufactured sand and we go to gravel. If I put in 24 rock, I get 24 gravel. And if I want to turn uh, gravel into manufactured sand, uh, it's eight gravel to eight manufactured sand. Three times eight is 24. So first thing is I'm going to need three rock crushers, uh, which is the building it was showing us, which is under that one. Cool. Uh, I'm going to need three of you guys. So we're going to put down three. Uh, we're going to set the recipe to manufactured sand, and I want to have three of these guys. Okay, so I need three of those guys to make manufactured sand. On top of that, I'm going to need one guy to do rock into gravel. 
Okay, so that's what we need for that. Uh, on top of that, I'm going to need nine gravel. Now, I need nine, which means I need 18 gravel, which means I need 36 gravel to run all of these. And if we upgrade them to mixes level two, I'm going to need twice that amount being 72 gravel. Now, 72 gravel is three machines running in rock to make gravel. Or I can run in slag to slag crushed. Remember, we can use either gravel or slag crushed. That, that, that. that one. Recipe copy. Thank you. Cool. I can run gravel or slag crushed. So I'm going to need another three crushes doing uh, either gravel or slag to give me the give me the the crushed material to make our concrete slabs. Concrete slabs we're going to be jamming into construction parts one, which is that one, because that you can use bricks or concrete slabs. Also, concrete slabs are required to make bigger and better bridges and all sorts of other buildings. So I now know that I want to, uh, I want to tidy up this. So can we get storage? Can I grab a loose storage? Uh, we're going to plug you in there. I don't know what that is. That's limestone. Thank you. Uh, we're going to move you to there. We're going to set you to be limestone, which I haven't dug up any of yet. Uh, we're going to put you there for the, right the moment. We're going to bring the belt out of there and sure. Out of there. Uh, at height, whatever. Down to ground level. There. Uh, reverse you, because you're going to be an in belt. And that is going to be uh, coal. Drag that up one tile. Uh, limestone, drag that up one tile. And that means that belt doesn't need to stick out. And that belt doesn't need to stick out. Great. So I need to have advanced diesel, have mechanical power storage, have all sorts of things which we'll get to in just a second. All right, I need to have three of these machines. So these three machines are going to take in rock to make gravel or slag to make gravel. So we need to, let's start with, well, let's start with our input. So I need to run into the back of the machine. And these are very tall machines. I'm going to run into the back of all three. Okay. On top of that, I need to bring the resources out. Now, uh, as I have a belt right there at a lower height, we're going to go with that one. So I want to run into, come on. In, you, that one. Thank you. Uh, we're going to run you into you and you into you. Okay. Uh, so that is going to be those three machines all making uh, slag or rock. Well, slag or rock into gravel or slag crushed. On top of that, I need this one to be very, very special because his only thing he's going to be making is going to be gravel to run these guys. So I need these guys to also slide up. Uh, and we're going to have them plug into this belt to make a manufactured sand. So manufactured sand is going to go in there. One, two, and three. On top of that, I need to get my gravel out of there and run it into there. Can I get that a little bit neater, please? Uh, can I go? Okay, first off, can I go from you? Don't tell me you can't. There to there, plus there to there, plus there to there. Cool. Uh, I want to go from there to... That'll do beautifully. Cool. All right, so I need to get uh, into both of these builds. I need to get in rock. So I'm going to have a bucket for rock. Uh, actually, can I, where would my bucket for rock go? My bucket for rock would go that far. Okay, rock bucket goes, you won't fit there. But you will fit there. Okay, bucket for rock is going to go here. You're going to be a rock bucket. Uh, rock. Now, can I get a belt past the outside of that? No. Can I slide you back even further and try again? Uh, ooh, uh, all the errors on the screen are perfectly fine and I don't need to worry about them. There to there. Okay, so you're gonna do rock. On top of that, I need a second bucket and this one's gonna be doing slag. Slag comes from our smelting and in theory, we sh should have plenty of it. No guarantees, but in theory we should. Okay, we're gonna put you out of the way for just a second because I want a second bucket for rock. I want to import rock to here. And then you have two outputs and you're going to split your output 50-50 between the two of them. Because these guys up here can take in rock or they can take in slag. So I'm going to bring my rock into here, which will split 50-50 into this one to make sure this one always has rock in it to then convert into our uh, manufactured sand. But the rest of the rock can come up and join into this belt. Remove, try again flat there. Then you can raise it. Cool. 
Uh, as for my slag, I'm going to put my slag bucket here, and I'm going to put a connector right here, because uh, my slag can also go onto the same belt. And with that done, that's going to be our concrete production. The only thing I haven't put in is I haven't put in storage, which is going to be uh, here. Yep. And we can put concrete slabs, concrete slabs, more slabs with some slabs. And I haven't plugged in water. Water, we need to work out how we get where, how and where we're going to get it. And honestly, well, this has got water everywhere. So probably from right here somewhere. I also need to work out where we're going to put this build. And the answer is, I don't know. Uh, but I'm starting to think right here behind. I have to leave a couple of tiles. Sure, we can make concrete bricks right here. Yeah, because you're going to hang over a cliff. And hanging over a cliff is bad. Oh, actually. Did we put you there? I don't see why not. Oh, apart from all the iron underneath. Yeah, maybe not. All right, I like my first idea. We're going to put you here. We're going to have you facing towards the left because uh, there is no room to put it here. Oh, actually, is there? Is there? Because this is where all our water is currently. If I put it that way... Okay, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Stop mining that. Copy that. Rotate it around. Uh, we could put you there. And that way you can jump straight on the same belt as bricks right there and be good to go. I can get half the build done because I only need half the build done because, well, I can't support more than what I have, you know, more than the, the two I have. And as long as we have the original build, I can just copy and paste. All right. Uh, we're going to set these... No, we're going to trim uh, because I don't want to accidentally undermine a building later. Uh, actually, we can just leave them as ghosts. All right. We're going to unpause that. I need those running. I'm going to unpause... You I need one and a half. You make three. Uh, so I'm only going to unpause one of you. Uh, I'm going to unpause that, 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 and that, so you can feed materials in. I'm going to unpause the smokestack. I'm going to unpause... Uh, you need nine... Uh, six manufactured sand, so I need only one of those machines running, uh, which is going to need its feed-in belt uh, from that guy. We also need to have the feed-in belts here, here, up here, here and here. And I'll also need you output 24 gravel, uh, which is more than enough to feed one machine. So I need one of these guys running currently and everything else we can build later when I actually have the ability to use everything later. Okay, meanwhile, I need water and I think that means I'm going to remove that pipe. Uh, go away. Uh, pipe. And we're going to bring the pipe over to at height number two to here. Actually, we'll drag you one more tile so then I can come. Oh, I need you to come down one tile early so then you can go there with a the connector. And I need to plug this back in, which will be another loopy belt. Loopy belt. Loopy pipe. Loopy pipe. Okay. Build that and unpause that and unpause that. That should give us our water. That should give us our coal, uh, except I now need limestone, which means unpause you. Actually, is that dirt problem solved? Our dirt problem is solved. Cool. Uh, can I get another my uh, another thingy majiggy bob and put you here? Cool. Edit area from there to there. And what I want to do is basically follow the contour, contour of the ground as best as possible from there to there. Uh, we're going to unpause you and I'm going to grab one of these two diggy boys and reassign you here. Okay. Uh, the plan is you're going to dig through here and you're going to hopefully find me plenty of limestone because that is our limestone hill. And then we can start making concrete, hopefully. Uh, meanwhile, so you should bring in some rock. You should bring in... Oh, rock. No, you don't need to bring in rock. You're getting rock from that one. Uh, you should bring in some slag. You should bring in limestone. You should bring in coal. You should make uh, 
cement eventually, and then you should make concrete slabs, and then my concrete slabs are gonna go on to that. Oh. What did you just deliver, and why? I don't know what you delivered. You shouldn't be delivering anything. Are you delivering water? Whoa, oh, the pipe's backward. This pipe's also backward, hang on. Water, goes into there, out of there, into there, into there, now into there. Go, oh, solved, it's the little things. All right, we're gonna plug you into there and unpause you. Cool, uh, no place to dump products, uh, which is you, which is saying I've got no way to dump dirt. Uh, I think I just need to enable dirt dumping for a little while. Uh, cool. All right, that should be that up and running. Uh, do I want to put in, oh, actually, I want to put in a belt balancer. All right, can we remove that? And that. All right, can we put in a transport, a flat balancer here? And uh, actually there, and we'll plug you into there, and then I'll plug you into, come on, there. And we're gonna prioritize the dirt bricks first, because, well, I prefer to use dirt over real concrete, at least for down. Once the system's running a little bit better, we might be happy to just get rid of the dirt build entirely, but for right now, well, I need this, uh, because we're gonna be limited on getting rock, because rock is not as easy to get as you might think. All right. Uh, we need to build that, and we need to build that. Once we go ma major terraforming, then it shouldn't be a problem. All right, with that done, I'm spending far too long building this. I need to keep this laying around somewhere, but it doesn't need to be laying around here. Uh, hopefully, hopefully. Yep, that works. You can live there. Uh, all right, with that done, I need to build power. Now, we have uh, water, uh, a groundwater pump. I'm going to put a groundwater pump... Yeah, uh, I need to get power up and running. So to get power up and running, we need a high pressure turbine, uh, like so. Uh, you're gonna make six mechanical watts worth of power. And for that, you're gonna require 24 high pressure steam. Uh, I get my steam from boilers. Uh, let's put you, I don't know, here for the moment. You're gonna provide 48 high, power, power, high pressure steam. So that means I can run two of these, which is gonna give me uh, six and six being 24 mechanical 24 megawatts worth of mechanical power which i then need to turn into actual electrical power with a power generator you use three each to give me two megawatts worth of actual electricity because there's a loss which means if i have one two three four that is my power okay on top of that um we have a flywheel now these guys take a second to spool up and spool down okay they're not instantaneously to turn on turn off right they're a big mechanical thing it takes a moment so what we can do is uh when we don't need the power we can store the excess power in the flywheels and they'll just install uh, store inertia inertia power okay extra power we can save for later so i need to build you here no here because you need to plug into those pipes uh we're gonna bring you into there and then into there uh, we need to put a smokestack to exhaust over here. We need to apply water, which is going to be there. You provide 48 water. You need 48 water. So it's a pretty much a one-to-one -one system. Uh, I do need to leave just a tiny bit of a gap. Uh, actually, probably a more of a gap. A more of a gap, please. Uh, storage. Container. Okay, more storage. Uh, can I do two of these? It's gonna suddenly become super important because we're gonna start depending on this power to run the colony. Uh, can I put you there, I hope? Uh, you into there. You're gonna need 30 coal every 60 seconds. You only store 180 coal. So you're gonna store three minutes, three minutes worth of coal. You're gonna take us, us up to six minutes worth of coal. It's not a lot of leeway, leeway time, so it means Digging up coal is going to become even more important. Uh, and then the only other thing I need to do is I get low pressure steam out, which for the moment I can't do anything but vent. Eventually in the future, we'll have more options, but 
my only option for right now is to, well, vent it. Can I plug you into you? No, I didn't think so. Okay. I need you to slide over a tile. Can I go there? What? At height one, one tile. Can I go there to there? And then we can go straight there. Cool. Uh, that's going to be our plan. We're going to build that. And I'm going to set you, well, I'll set you to be coal. And again, I'm going to drag this up one to make sure coal goes into the system. Now, this is going to start drawing off this groundwater that I have lots of currently, but I have lots of it because, well, we're not using it. As I use it more and more, it's going to start to dry up. It, it refills every single time it rains, but it's something I need to keep an eye on. Uh, now, this is going to give me, what I say? Uh, two, four, six, eight. Eight megawatts worth of real power, which means... Oh, 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 oh. Uh, and this is at power priority six. So it is the, uh, well, six item to turn on from top to bottom or bottom to top. Uh, this is number 11. So this is way lower down on the list. Uh, yeah, way lower down on the list, which means this shouldn't turn on unless uh, this is not running. Now, hopefully this keeps running. This keeps running forever is my hope. But um, yeah, yeah, we, 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 we need to sort of have this built first. Also, when we get this built, we get another mission objective. Also research. Um, I want, uh, we've got that. Uh, we can get settlement power to get some bonus uni, but what I really want is I want uh, that. No, 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 I want that one. Maintenance depot number two. Uh, I want deconstruction efficiency. So at the moment, every single time I deconstruct something, I get a 70% refund. If I do this, it takes me up to 80% refund. I like an 80% refund. Uh, we can also grab out of our research. That's really it. That's the only thing I really want at the top of my list. Uh, I do want that, but that requires steel smelting and all sorts of other things. Uh, biofuel, yeah. Basic desal. It's on the quest list, so I guess we add that on there. Because um, that's right here. Yeah. Oh, no, that's advanced diesel. Well, that's going to be our next ob objective. I don't think we're going to get that done today. Because uh, I'm out of construction parts. Why am I out of construction parts? Because I just spent them all? Yeah, I spent them all. Unpause you. Uh, why? Oh, oh, oh. And unpause the booster belt. Unpause the booster belt. Cool. Now you run at full speed. Because as soon as I get this running, and also maintenance depot too, we can start upgrading more and more things to electronics. Uh, can I do max speed for that? Pause. Well, it's a bit late. Yeah, I need this build. I need this build. This is this is this is what's holding us up. We need we need to actually have the burny thing to make the steamy thing, to make the power thing, to make the spinny thing. Four construction parts. You're kidding me. Do it again. Oh my gosh. And whilst we can see our power keeps maxing out, because I've ignored it for long enough. Trying to get uh everything else running. Uh oh, and these are chewing power. And that chews power. That chews a lot of power, actually. Um, this is yeah, this is fairly power intensive. Uh but, what are you waiting on? You're waiting on manufactured sand, and we're waiting on that to work, because that belt is around the wrong way. Of course it is. Okay, with that belt flipped, uh, we should be good now. And you also need manufactured sand. You make eight, and I needed six. But of course you need stone, and we don't have any stone. Cool. All right, uh, coal power plant, collect, yay! Uh, not enough workers, yep, we, no, yep, that's a problem for, it's a problem for upgrade housing, sure. All right, we can get the next layer of housing. Next layer of housing goes from storing, oh gosh, I don't even remember. Uh, housing, 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 housing. Uh, stores 130 people, so it's a small boost. Doesn't hold a lot of extra people. Yeah, they also start having more needs. I don't like dealing with needs, but we now have uh, mechanical power. As we can see, if I turn on auto balance, it's going to be very, very important. Uh, they will fill up this mechanical shaft full of potential energy, and then they'll turn off. And that's going to be very, very important. I need them to turn off because I don't want them to keep burning the steam, because that's what they're doing. They're burning the steam 
to make more uh, more potential power, more mechanical power. So they're currently off. The steam will sit in the pipe. It'll do absolutely nothing. That's perfectly fine. It's happy to sit there. And uh, these will keep spinning. Now, these do have a tiny, tiny, itty, small, smallest bit of, bit of loss on them, but they honestly don't matter because yes they, 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 they make up for they easily make up for those losses by sitting here you know it's it's, it's not really a loss you should worry about yeah uh, but these will slowly discharge as we're using the mechanical power into electrical power and eventually these guys will tick back on once we get low enough it's about 30 percent they turn on about 80 percent they turn off but with that done i could now scroll all the way over to here I can definitely turn off you, and I can pretty sure I can turn off you, because I don't need these running. Also, these cost maintenance, and that should, one, lower our maintenance costs, which are getting pretty high. Like, they, we're about to max out one building, because um, this needs maintenance, this needs maintenance, of course, as do our power plants. Like, everything now is gonna start needing maintenance, or just about everything, so this is something I now need to keep an eye on. Unless we want to boost up our maintenance. This is why we're researching the maintenance depot 2, which just got built, which I'm going to build instantly. Uh, not that I can afford to uni it, because for some reason I don't have construction parts. But this is going to... Gee. Uh, maintenance depot 2. Um, <clears throat> 20 people. Oh, actually. Pause. We'll wait on that. Uh... 20 people, 250 kilowatts, but also it's going to produce a lot more maintenance, an awful lot more maintenance, 480 maintenance compared to the 105 we're making currently. So twice the power in a little bit. Uh, and how many people? 20 over six. What's that? Four times, a little bit less than four times the amount of people, two and a half times the amount of power, but um, four times the output. It's a massive amount. But I can't do that till we fix, well, housing and get more people in and do a whole lot of other things. But we have mechanical power storage. That has been done. We have power generation two. That has been done. We have concrete production. That has been done. Uh, we have the maintenance depot two, which I've spoken about. That is done. Uh, which means next episode, advanced diesel. Advanced diesel is going to be where it's at. I would love to build it up here on the coastline, but that's not going to happen purely because we haven't landfilled in enough. So we're going to have to build it probably beside the captain's office. I figure captain's office with Petrochem right out the back. Uh, but with all that said, I need to leave this episode here. We've gone a little bit too long, as always, but I believe this is what the flavor of the channel is. Uh, episodes that are a little bit too long, but we get an awful lot done. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. Do hope you've enjoyed. And if you haven't clicked the subscribe button already, maybe you should have. Anyway, that's it. I'm out. I'll see you next one. Bye.